Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. I'm Papa from Gaming here and today we're playing some more Cookie Run Kingdom. And today's the day that we finish the Vanilla Kingdom. And by that I mean actually enter the castle, because I'm pretty sure chapter 10 is literally just us being inside the castle, though to be fair. I guess chapter 8 was hallway, so being inside and exploring the castle is probably much more interesting than a school hallway, so, you know. Anyways, though, we're going to be continuing on with the story, which means I have to go back to team one, my defensive team, my more safe team. Uh, and yeah, so the goal is that we will finish the remaining eight, seven or eight stages. This is 23, there's 30 in total. I'm pretty sure that means there's eight stages, but there might be seven. I can't be bothered to double check, so. Seven or eight stages, however many it is exactly. That's how many we're hopefully doing today. Uh, we'll see if that actually ends up happening. We're probably gonna end up doing some cookie draws or something like that as well. Though it depends. I, my first priority is finishing chapter nine. If we do that and it takes us like three minutes, which um probably won't be the case, but you know what I mean. If it takes like 10, 15 minutes, we might do a uh, cookie draw or something like that to fill a little more time to do something else. But I don't know, I fully expect that I'm probably going to be extra slow at reading out all the dialogue because I have high hopes that it's going to be pretty interesting, which means I'm going to be slow. That's pretty much what that means. If I have high hopes, it means it's going to be really slow. So, yeah, we're just going to keep on going. And in case you haven't figured that out or figured it out yet, I'm pretty much taking a break from the Tower of Chaos because if I really tried and got lucky, I could probably beat two, three, maybe four more trays. But I have more keys than that, so I'm sort of just waiting on it for now. It sucks because I wish I could do more, but they made it really hard, which is why I extra hate that it's a limited thing. If they want to add something that requires you to be in the game and pretty much have max teams, fine. But, I don't know. I kind of wish it was, I don't know, not temporary. At, le at least, to be fair, at least the, um, the story was only locked behind chapter, like, 50 or trade like a little under 50 so that's a little more doable but even then like obviously i could do that that was pretty easy but a lot of people if you're just starting the game during the event i guess you do have like 50 days but that's still pretty hard i know the game's probably quite a bit easier than it was when i started playing which i don't know about you guys but that's something i notice in games so much they're like oh yeah i remember starting that game it took forever to do this and someone will knew that just started the game like what are you talking about it took me like half an took me like half an hour because the games get so much easier because there's so much in them they have to make the early game go by so much faster anyways i guess we're talking about black raisin cookie now black raisin cookie you're back how why i don't really trust that villager though i do really like the purple eyes it looks epic so if you are good you're really cool you've returned so soon but where is healer cookie i i i came because i was worried is everyone safe what of the injured? Everyone's safe. All thanks to you. But you're... You're crumbling all over. Is... Is Healer Cookie coming back too? No. Forget that for now. We need to leave the village. And quickly. But... But Healer Cookie is... What are you waiting for? Leave. Now. Ga! Ga! Oh. What have you brought? My wing friend. What's this? A torn piece from Hilokoki's robes? Has something happened? Oh no, what have I done? I knew I shouldn't have left him behind in my anger. Hang in there, Hilokoki. Help is on the way. Oh, he's, so he's gonna go back up to them. That's cool. Good job, Black Raisin Cookie. I knew you were good. I, truthfully, I mean, I get it. Not coming back down, it's risky and all, but you do have to warn the villagers. Um, truthfully, Black Raisin Cookie, you, you probably would have been better up here and... Though I guess to be fair, he's probably the one they trust the most. And there's no way Healer Cookie could have gone back, so I guess it's a pretty good option. Part of me wishes that someone like, I don't know, I don't know, Chili Pepper? Chili Pepper Cookie could probably do it. Similar talents, similar abilities, she could probably get back up too. I don't know. I do not know. We're just gonna keep on going, and hopefully it's gonna go pretty well. I don't really expect there to be too many more new enemies. I do still really like those, like, crab dudes. I know they're not really crabs, because they have four legs, and I'm almost positive crabs don't have four legs, plus they have their, like, claw things. But I'm gonna call them crabs, because I honestly have no idea what else to call them. But then again, all of these things are literally made of waffles and either light matter slash ice cream, so 
you know. Speaking of which, I had such a good waffle the other day. Um, so I made a waffle, and I had ice cream and strawberries with it, and it was so, so, so good. It doesn't happen that often. It's a pretty rare thing, waffles in general, and waffle with ice cream and strawberries. I don't know if I've ever had, had or if I have, it's like very, very few times. But it was so good. So, so good. It's like it was very filling, but it was so delicious. Because the ice cream, like, the waffle absorbed the ice cream, and it was good. It was the perfect mix of sort of like, it was a little cool, but also with the warm waffle, it melted the ice cream, and I don't really know how else to describe it. It was just really fun. I really liked it. It tasted incredible. If you guys have waffles a lot, then lucky you, waffles are really good. I don't have them that often, as I said. Also, is this a new enemy? This weird waffle dude? I don't know. He looks pretty powerful, but... And he looks new, but... That means literally nothing. I'm not... Don't have the best memory for these guys. They don't last that long. Are you kidding me? One basic healing powder. Do you really think I'm gonna need this at this stage of the game? I, I don't even know if I can sell... The, whatever. I think he can still sell it for coins, I guess. But seriously, why are you still giving me to those? The Fountain of Abundance gives me, like, 20 of those a day. I don't need them. Especially not one from one stage that's not useful at all. <sighs> 9-25. We're actually going to be very tight on stamina, so hopefully none of these stages are super expensive. Because if they are, well, actually, that's not a big deal. Because I have, like, 30, 40, 50 stamina just waiting in rewards to collect. So it's not a really big deal if I do run out of stamina or whatever. But I prefer not to. I definitely would. But, obviously, don't have a ton of control over that, which is too bad. I do quickly want to say, it's June. Happy June 1st. Summer is almost upon us, or winter, if you live in Australia or somewhere like that. I know Australia isn't the only place that has the reverse continent things, but I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. There's other places, but that's the only one you really hear about, or at least that's the only one I really hear about. No one has ever like, oh yeah, um... I guess New Zealand. I'm going to use New Zealand because I'm almost positive since it's pretty close to Australia that they have similar things. New Zealand, yeah, they have, like, winter right now. Can you believe it? Or almost winter now. Can you believe it? Um, no. I don't know. Australia is always the one that's used. I'm assuming there are quite a few other places that have that, but I honestly have no idea. Absolutely no idea. But yeah, summer slash winter is upon us, almost. I don't know about you guys. I like winter. I like summer. They're both really good seasons. Uh, I find summer can get extra warm. But then again, winter can also be pretty cold. Winter's only really good if there's snow. If there's no snow, and it's not just... Well, I mean, I guess it depends where you live. There's a lot of different kinds of winter. Some winters are like, hey, it's like, it's a little chillier than normal. Or it's just like there's a light breeze or something. And some winters obviously have like two meters of snow. Two, two meters of snow. Yeah, there can be lots of snow. But anyways, um, you know, snow is, snow is fun. If you have snow, snow is pretty great. But it doesn't usually last that long, depending on where you live. Obviously, some places in the Arctic and stuff have snow, like, almost all year long, if not all year long. So, you know, some places a little bit more snow than others. Gotcha! Wait, she's back? Oh, I guess I sort of should have figured she'd be important still. I don't know. Ack! You again? I was waiting for you to play hide and seek with me. Why are they still doing question marks? Don't we already know her name? Didn't she already say who she was? I thought she did. Who knows? What's taking so long? We are quite busy at the moment. Why do you keep asking us to play? Because this place is boring. All I did was ask you to play. Is that too much? Well, um, no. However, analyzing, analyzing, analyzing behavioral patterns. Aha! I see why you're so skeptical. Your dough contains popping candy. Your 70% intelligence, 29% curiosity. What is that last 1%? Further analysis shows. Ooh, 1% genius. Oh my god. I do find it interesting that her eyes have that, like, is she a robot? Or is it just like, a, I'm assuming it's just like special glasses or technology things she has. I actually just watched Young Justice Season 3, and they have weird, like, eye technology things that lets them see things. It's pretty cool. So I'm assuming that's what she has. Though she could totally be a robot, just thinking of that. It wouldn't be that surprising. But I do find it funny that she's like, oh, 1% genius, that's pretty good. Well, I wouldn't say that's wrong. 
One percent genius. That's that's not horrible, but I don't know. Is that good? Does that mean you're a genius, or does that mean hey, you're one percent genius? You're 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 there a little bit, because I don't know to you, but that doesn't sound that great to me. I mean, overall, those qualities sound good, but one percent genius—that's a pretty small percentage. Anyways, what are you doing here, by the way? Right now, playing. But I was fine tuning my latest bot matrix configuration to make it less dependent on my commands. That would be one sweet upgrade. Uh huh. Upgrades? What's up with upgrades? You get upgrades all the time. What are you talking about? Hmm. This is quite different from any form of magic I know. <laughs> this is not just magic. This is mag magicanical engineering. Magicanical engineering. Please don't make me say that too many times. That's that's difficult to say. I can build things with profoundly elaborate designs, and then use learning protocols to teach them how to think. Let me show you on that busted Wafflebot over there. That's the Wafflebot that just attacked us. Oh, you don't like robots? But robots are so cool. And they're really strong, too. I'll show you later. I'm sure you will. Ooh, speaking of which, as I was getting back to the whole, hey, it's June 1st. Um... The subscriber goal for this month. So it's going to be really challenging. This one, I promise, is actually difficult. 1,000 subscribers. The big one, the big milestone I've been looking at for a long time. The always, it's just the, hey, when you make it there, that's a big deal. But you know what? We're getting close and looking at statistics. Because, yes, I have statistics. Uh, it's very plausible. It's not easy. And it won't necessarily happen. But it's very plausible for us to reach 1,000 subscribers this month. They will probably be pretty close to the end. So that's your challenge, everybody watching. That is your new challenge. Starting off pretty good today. I'm pretty sure how do you like 600? Oh, not 600. That would be really hard then. Um, 845 subscribers. So that's pretty good. So, you know, roughly 155, maybe a bit more. So that's your number to go for. You need like 150-ish to reach 1,000 subscribers. The new goal for June. So, yeah. Thought I'd mention that now. Pretty much the middle of the video. Plus, if we actually do beat this chapter, I have a feeling this will be at least a fairly exciting video because, well, we're beating chapter 9, that's pretty cool. I say if we do, the only reason we really wouldn't is if something went seriously wrong and, like, I don't know. If something went seriously wrong, we wouldn't. That's basically the point. Though, to be fair, I suppose if we got really unlucky and some horrible crash happened and I lost the video, which I know I say that sometimes, but it still paranoids me all the time, that wouldn't be very good and that would probably lead to, you know not uploading this. That would suck so much. It happened once before with chapter 2. That's what happened with the chapter 2 boss. I missed it because I don't know, something went wrong, I lost the video and it was horrible. Uh, except this is chapter 9. This is way, way more important because there's a lot of you aren't actually done chapter 9. Or at least recently were done chapter 9. So it's a much bigger deal than missing chapter 2. Which most of you have done if you've been playing the game for more than like a couple of hours. Me, on the other hand, took me a little while longer than a couple hours to beat Chapter 2. Just just a little bit. Um, but it wasn't that bad. Anyways, moving on to fourth last stage. This is 27 now they want, right? I think so. Pretty sure. These are actually taking quite a bit longer than I thought. So this will probably be all that we do today. So, you know, if you were hoping for draws, they probably won't happen today. But there's always next time. Next time will not be long from now. To get uh, I don't know, who knows? It probably won't be that long until we do them again. And who knows, maybe we'll do more than 10 because I'll get a bad draw. It will happen, eventually. The gems will be spent, most likely before I get more gems. Not for sure, I'm not making any promises, but chances are I will spend all of those gems, or at least most of those gems, before, you know, we get a little bit more. Not all, because I don't like spending all, because I want to have gems on me in case I need to do something. If there's like, oh, wait, five minutes and get this super special thing. Or spend one gem. I don't want to necessarily make you wait. I want to have the option, even if I won't usually do it, to skip cooldowns for things or buy stamina or something like that. It's good to have the ability, so I don't like having no gems. Of course, for me, having no gems is like having 8k or something, which most players never have because they just spend them as soon as they get 3,000. Um, but, you know, I like to have more gems. I like to be at like 8,000-ish minimum in case I need them for something. I mean, eventually, I do want to upgrade all of my um, queues for all the different shops and buildings and things to max. It'll be really expensive, though, and I'm not sure I'm willing to make that commitment quite yet. 
And even storage, every once in a while I'm like, oh, well, time to upgrade storage. It's usually for a bad reason, but it costs quite a few gems. I think the next one's gonna be like 4,000, so, you know, not super duper cheap. But what can you do? Storage, it's been the bane of my existence. You need, there's so many things, so many items, I want to actually keep a decent amount of them, but in order to do that, I have to spend a lot of resources, including gems, on storage upgrades, which sucks, but what can you do? Anyways, 927, done. Three more stages to go, 28, 29, and 30, until we are finished. Da bum bum. And like I did with chapter 9, by the way, I'm probably not going to show you chapter 10 until next time, because of course, you know, suspense, excitement, that stuff's important. Though it does suck that we're not actually going to have all of our stars, because, well, I'm missing some on the earlier levels. Anyways. Oh, wow. I found you first this time. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> Where do you come from? And why are you always hiding? Well, that's, um, I'm kind of shy. Hiding is comfortable. How interesting. Even with all that artificial strawberry scent? Oh, yeah, what's so interesting? You could be so much tougher if you did just what you want. But I already like whatever I'm doing. You're making me uncomfortable. <laughs> God, strawberry cookie, she's generally giving a compliment to you. She's not saying, you're horrible, you're, you should do this. Well, she sort of is. 13% concentrated strawberry syrup, 7% sugar, adding to sweetness and adorableness, pink food dye, interesting, very interesting. That's only 20%, do your math properly. Can I analyze your components further with my lab equipment? Please, I can take you to my workshop. Oh, this isn't gonna end well. They're gonna capture, aren't they? What, no, go away. Uh oh, strawberry cookie. Please bring back strawberry cookie. This instant! Psh! The weak ones are always so demanding. You're the weakest cookie here, aren't you? Uh, da 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 da. Very, very much so wrong about that. Strawberry crepe. Seriously, I'm, the question marks are bothering me. We know your name, Strawberry Crepe. I. What? Don't worry, I won't hurt anyone. It's been a long time since I've conducted a thorough analysis on a new subject. Enough talking now. Bye bye. Knew it. She was going to capture Strawberry Cookie. Feel a little bad for you. Strawberry cookie's pretty nice. I like strawberry cookie. I don't think I've ever actually had a strawberry cookie. I'm sure those are real things, but I've definitely never had one. Though then again, most of my favorite cookies in this game, I really don't like. Pomegranate cookies, those can be pretty good. Those are pretty good. Um, but black licorice cookie? Yeah, yeah, no. Black licorice on its own? Definitely not. Black licorice in a cookie? Also definitely not. I'm not a fan of black licorice. It's, it's pretty gross. I don't like it that much. What are my other favorite cookies? Um, dark chocolate. I mean, dark chocolate can be pretty good. I prefer milk chocolate or white chocolate. White chocolate's pretty good. But dark chocolate can... It's not bad. It's still pretty good. Um, any other favorite cookies? Herb. I mean, I don't exactly know what you mean by that. Is there a cookie made with herbs? If so, I don't think I really would like that either. But I don't know. I guess I would have never tried it. Is that a real thing? Just a herb cookie? I doubt it. Probably not. I mean, lots of things in this game, obviously, aren't there? There's werewolf cookie. I I don't exactly know how I would explain that one. Like, norm for some of them, you could be like, oh, well, it's just like, I don't know, it's a coffee cookie, or it's a carrot cookie, or what are some other, what are some weirder ones? I guess whatever Kumo is, I have no idea what Kumo is. Maybe it's a word for something, so maybe it is an actual cookie kind, or it's just some random name, and Spirit Wolf? Spirit Wolf cookies, hooray, that sounds good. I don't know. Kumaho, I have no idea what you are. My, the closest thing that comes to mind is the spirit wolf, but I don't think that's correct. And even if it was, I don't think I could really turn that into a cookie. I, I'm curious, on your opinion, what percentage of cookies in this game do you think are A, real cookies, and B, if not necessarily real or common cookies, or at least cookies that could be made theoretically. They're not like werewolf cookie or, um, well, whatever Kumaho cookie is. How many? What do you think? What percentage or number? You can say whatever you want, but I'm curious your opinion on that. Try not to cheat. If you want to tell me the exact number, if you do want to look at things and specify, go ahead. You're allowed to do that, but don't, like, spend forever researching each cookie type. That would get a little boring a little quickly. I mean, you can do whatever you want, but preferably not. Anyways, on to the second last stage. I'm a feeling there's some more story here, but who knows? Because it actually doesn't sound like we're fighting her necessarily at the end, unless the castle is literally her workshop, which isn't impossible, but sounds a little bit weird. 
Ooh, you know what I just realized? What if the final... Like, what if when they add in chapter 11 and 12 and stuff, what if it's going to the Tarot Sweet Chaos stuff? Because obviously there's story and stuff there, but what if the end is that we're going, we're moving closer and closer to the tower? Because that seems to be where the, like, the cakes, the Red Velvet Cake army is forming, and it's the base of operations for Dark Enchantress Cookie and all that stuff. So what if that's where we're going to go to next? Because, I mean, it's not like we can go to the Vanilla Kingdom a second time. Like, what's our next goal? This has been the goal since the beginning of the series. I still don't think it was a very good goal, but it has been the goal. So what are they going to do when it's done? Who knows? I'm sure very few of you that have actually beaten Chapter 10 might have a better idea. But then again, if you want, if you had finished Chapter 8, you probably wouldn't, like, before Chapter 9 10 existed, you probably wouldn't have a pretty good idea of what was coming next. Since all you know is, hey... We went through a mystical portal. Cool. Like, you'd have literally no idea what was going to happen next because we were sent somewhere. And I'm sure very few... Well, that's not true. I'm sure some people expect... What did I do? Oh, I clicked on the button. Um, I'm sure very few people expected that we'd actually be going to the Vanilla Kingdom. I'm sure some people did because obviously, hey, it's the point. It's the journey. I'm sure we're going to end up there eventually. But I wouldn't exactly expect Dark Changes Cookie to send us there. Though, I guess now that I know that it's full of this, like, these evil robots, makes a little bit more sense that she sent us here. I mean, she doesn't exactly like us. She'd probably have quite a bit of fun, you know, killing us and sending us to our doom. But what can you do? Okay, are we almost done yet? This is taking longer than I expected. I feel like I've been spending way too long on these seven or eight stages. Seriously. That time is three minutes. If we spent, like, two and a half, three minutes on each stage, this is going to be a very long video. And I'm getting tired, so come on, let's move on to the final stage. We will succeed, and after we succeed, that'll be it. Because I'm getting tired, and my voice is getting sore, and I want to finish this. I'm getting excited, but I want it done, because this is taking a long time. Strawberry cream cookie. I love how below there's just like three massive robots of doom with their red eyes staring at you, staring into your soul. And then the boss is just strawberry grape cookie, you know. Strawberry crepe cookie. Every every normal person. What about tax? I love how you can say that. Crepe punch. Swings both waffle crepe fist dealing damage. Crepe thrust. Swings both giant crepe fist to cause a shockwave and reduces damage received by two enemy units. We can actually see her exact power, attack, defense, and health. Her health is a lot. Her attack isn't that much. Waffle bot. Summon, I summon you. Summons waffle bots and commands the attack pro protocol. Uh, crepe Barrage summons Crepe Cannons to attack the cookies. That's not that good. Doesn't sound bad, but it doesn't sound that good. Oh, I just- did that take 270,000 power? Um, isn't that, like, way higher than my team? Isn't my team only, like, 230,000 cookie power? How come this stage is 270,000? What's with the massive health ramp and power ramp and all that stuff? I don't know, I don't really like this. This got challenging fast, it's freaking me out. But this is also making me way more paranoid. How on earth are you able to beat this mode in dark mode? Let alone chapter 10. I can't even imagine doing chapter 10 in normal mode right now, let alone dark mode. Maybe they changed how much it increases. Because I know there was a pretty big increase in dark mode for the first 8. Maybe it's less of a, like, a smaller increase for chapter 9 and 10. Or not. Maybe it's just really, really difficult. But this is going really easily. Considering we're technically very much so underpowered for this. We're not exactly having a very hard time. We haven't lost a cookie in a while. That's saying something considering we lost cookies on, like, the first two stages. But I don't know, I'm prepared for the boss. The boss sounds like it could be cool. It might not be, but could be pretty cool. So let's see. Are you here yet? Or is there another wave of enemies? Strawberry crepe cookie. Gotcha, you little cheeky cookie. You caught me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I concluded that you were just dull and slow. But wow, you're agile and quick. You underestimated us. That was your first mistake. Running is our specialty. Yeah, that is true. Well, at least yours. Now let Strawberry Cookie go. I'm actually alright. Don't worry. My analysis is over anyway. So she can go. Surprisingly, I didn't find any secret ingredient in her dough. Hey, why do you keep talking about Strawberry Cookie like that? Uh, oh, I like, cause she's Strawberry Crepe Cookie. I was curious. How is that regularly baked cookie like you are? Able to defeat my wondrously engineered waffle bots. Waffle bots made by me, Strawberry Crepe Cookie. Wait, are you saying that you let the waffle bots walk around the Vanilla Kingdom? Then the reckless attacks on the village were also. How could you do this? Um, because it's fun. 
Uh huh. Didn't she already tell us this? I'm confused. So confused. Did she not already say this? I could have. I'm almost positive this was already information they knew. Whatever. I woke up from a cryo baking pot and the kitchen was completely empty. Even the king was gone. Do you know how boring it was here? Okay, I'm. Is she a clone then? Cryo baking pot. Clone robot. What do you think? Clone robot or human? Leave your vote in the comments. I was about to get absolutely bored, but some dark enchantress cookie let me study the waffle bots. Looks like I had a talent for magic, magicanical engineering. Mm -hmm. She's really cool and so nice. I want to live in a kingdom where dark enchantress cookie is the ruler. Dear child, you are mistaken. Happiness comes from soft, sweet, and peaceful things in life. Dark enchantress cookie has molded you into something against your own nature. This kingdom will never fall into the hands of dark enchantress cookie. You think you can beat me? Ooh, this is gonna be fun. Hmm? Detailed analysis of all your dough was done ages ago. Chili pepper cookie. 1% spiciness, 99% ignorance. Say that to my face. Custard cookie the third, 70% ni naivety, 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 I don't know. 25% custard, 5% royalty. See? Proof that I'm deep. <laughs> Custard cookie, that was not a compliment. And ginger brave, 100% bravery. You're perfectly ordinary. I'm no ordinary cookie. I'm super brave when I need to be. No more theory crafting. Time to test down on the field. I hope you don't disappoint me. Mm -hmm. How quickly do you think the boss is going to die after all that like talking? After he's like, oh, I'm, in, I'm super powerful. You'll never kill me. Look at that elf bar just fade away. Yes, I'm sure you're very powerful, Strawberry Crepe. Yeah, cool explosion. You shoot your bombs. You summon your waffle bots. But the question is, are you prepared to die after merely 30 seconds of battling with me? That's not true. It's been like three minutes, because apparently it takes three minutes to do a single battle. Okay, come on. You still have like half elf. You have just under 300,000. We're more than halfway done. That's cool. I like that missile block. Short attacks are cool. Like, she's a pretty cool unit. And at least you lasted a little while. You have a lot of health, if not much damage. So that's pretty cool. I lost? No, no, no. That wasn't fair. Let's call this a practice round. Oh, yeah? Be more careful and don't pick fights with other cookies. Shame on you. I never said we need to have a real fight. You were supposed to lose. Easy peasy. Let's go. One more time. Please. Please. Just one more. We're not going to fight again, are we? Oh my god, that made me so terrified. I'm like, wait, was that just a like actual warm-up round? Because I'm not sure we could have done something much harder than that. Okay, I'm actually going to end here before I press exit. So there's probably going to be more story. Have a wonderful day. Uh, please consider giving the video a like if you enjoyed. Subscribing, join the Pop Elven Squad. It makes my date super nice, and I really do appreciate it. Remember, goal for this month, a thousand subscribers. So you know, yeah. Have a wonderful day. I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye!